I am Bailey Barty by DigiKey and Aid Frit. Thank you, DigiKey. This week is Avon. Avon Tools. Yes, I always love featuring new companies. Um, of course, love those classic chip companies. But it's, for tools, there's a lot of uh, you know smaller businesses that have great tools available. And this week, we're looking at Avon Tools. I mean, they're not small, but they're uh, not multi-trillion dollar companies. Um, so what I really liked this week was the Easy Pick Tweezer Kit uh, sets from Avon available DigiKey in both six and nine. And what I really like is first off, you get a variety of different tweezers, but they're all great for electronics, rework and repair and assembly. And they're color coded and they've got like the part number very clearly labeled on them. So if you're like, oh yeah, for 0402s, I really like the purple, you know, you can grab the purple. You don't have to like dig through and try to read small, like laser engraved print on, um, on your tweezers. Um, so yeah, these are the color coded precision tweeters, tw tweezers, tweeters, tweezers for precision assembly. Um, to pick up a set, I'm definitely going to be using them. Uh, there's nine different colors. Uh, some are, I'll, I'll show them on the overhead, um, you know, pointed, serrated, flat, narrow, um, ta you know, super tapered, fine tapered. Um, you know, for a lot of people, they might be like, these all sound and look the same. But if you're doing a lot of hand assembly or a lot of hand rework, you'll very quickly know that, um, you know, small differences in the tip and the serration or the, you know, the, the length of the tweezers can make your assembly um, a little bit faster and a lot easier on your hands. Um, this especially made us think of the contest that DigiKey is doing right now, the business card hack contest with um, Hackaday. And you know, you can, if you want, you can pop over to it. Yeah. Um, I just took the screenshot of the um Yeah, the right now, if you check it out on Hackaday.io, um, I wanted to look at it. Um, they got 55 submissions. So all of them, well, first of all, the submissions are great, but a lot of them use very small parts because if you have, like this is the one's through hole, but if you go down, you'll see ones with uh, lots of surface mount components. Like check this, it's like some CNC controller and like a- Yeah, these are cool. Yeah, like an, a UV monitor, I don't know, all sorts of stuff. E-ink displays. Um, you know, to make it thin and small, you'll use a lot of surface mount components. And you know, there are a few through hole, but a lot of people these days are doing hand assembly of SMT. Um, which you kind of have to do because most components come in SMT. So this is why a good tweezer set is important because when you get the low cost tweezers in your soldering pack, I mean, they're probably fine. Um, they're probably good for something like a 1206. So this is like my Minty MP3 design. So when I was first starting electronics, um, I used 1206 components. They're very large and easy to pick in place. But as I've been doing more and more assembly and like we got a pick in place where I'm just trying to make smaller boards, I've moved to, um, this one has 0805. We still have a lot of designs with 0805. Um, but now a lot of my designs are moving to 0603. And um, that's six mils by three mils. And even now you'll see on this um, RP2040 Feather, there are some larger capacitors that are, are 0805. I don't even use 06, uh, 1206 anymore, um, except for like power resistors. And there's a couple of um, 0603 capacitors, but there's also a bunch of um, 0402 parts. And once in a while, I'll even use 0201. So, you know, 402 is, is you know, when it's compact, um, especially as you're using fine pitch chips, you'll need uh, fine pitch components to go with them because you have to have like capacitors near the power rails, but still have space for traces to go around them. Um, so that's where a 402s or 201s are gonna be popular. Um, and then don't forget, you can, of course, get the resistor kits in those sizes um, from DigiKey if you want to practice your fine pitch soldering. And if, you, um, if you're um if you really handy with these tweezers, take them to your local uh, APEC or IPC Expo event, and you can uh, try out your hand in the hand soldering competition. Um, the, right tw the right tweezers are definitely essential for the job. So um, let's go to the overhead, and then I'll... Um, and then we'll we'll show the video and or the uh the stop page okay so it comes in a nice storage kit so this is the nine piece there's also a six piece it's less expensive but i was like i'm gonna splurge um so a lot of the differences you're gonna see are gonna be in the points this is a fairly fine point um but the body is rounded here 
and it's it's fairly thick you know you're gonna have a trade-off between how fine the point is and how um easy it is to accidentally bend although these these are nice and, and heavy and of course longer ones uh you know can sometimes be i mean i like to hold my tweezers kind of close to the tip um you're also going to see variation in um like this one is quite thick and it's serrated and it's got a serrated uh groove here for for gripping mostly i mean to be honest they look they look quite similar but some of them they just vary in how much they're tapered this is this is like the most tapered this is medium taper and this is you know maybe shorter so the length of the body is going to vary uh shorter ones usually mean you can get a little bit more leverage um but if you have to like reach you know far into, into the pcb it's a little tougher this one's kind of nice because it's got um a nice big grip area uh, and then a very fine taper um for reaching into small locations some people really like the the curved like the i don't know whether they're like a beaked um tweezers um definitely if you want to reach over like you want to have a, the posture of your hand uh flat but you want to reach down and then of course um don't forget you'll sometimes still want to have you know those um duckbill flat nose tweezers these are really good especially if you have larger components and you want to get a good grip one of the things about fine tips is that um parts will flip on you whereas with the flat tips they won't and then there's some um you know this one's a little longer and it's a slightly duller tip it's not super fine but that's okay again for larger components you you don't want to have the fine tip because it'll um the parts will flip on you very easily so a lot of nice uh nice options and i like again that they're color coded so you can if you have a favorite you know you know to reach for it and if you want to replace it you also know what color so easy easy to find especially if they get mixed in your tool bin All right available on digikey there's uh stock 12 right now so yes you get these you could there's also the like there's a lot of the six these are new so there's less in yeah. stock but there's also a bunch of the um six piece all right we have a video we're gonna play Our Easy Pick tweezers are color coded for easy identification. The yellow tweezer, for instance, represents the AA style, designed for very strong and precise tasks. The orange tweezer is the 7 style, with curved super fine points for assembly work. Our color coded designs allow you to effortlessly identify and pick the right tweezer for your task. Manufactured from anti magnetic, anti acid 304 series stainless steel. These tweezers are exceptionally durable and perfect for working in areas with magnetized components. Each color represents a different tip pattern, making it easy to pick the right tool for the job. From the yellow AA to the black 2A, we've got you covered.